again like uh, myself as sandeep mundlupet raju i work for amd as part, um, part of the yocto team so today i'm going to present on like meta ros how to build and configure meta ros for care to 60 care to 60 is a kriya robotic starter kit so it's available is it part of like kriya song family and it's uh, available in our websites right next slide cool. so today we're going to talk about a little bit on the ros oe ros oe meta ros and the krs which is the kriya robotics uh, stack and how to build and configure meta ros for kr260 so what is ros ros is a like a free and open source meta operating system that defines like components interfaces and tools to build uh, robots so basically ros provides like software libraries tools frameworks interfaces for like developer to create robotic applications which can be used in like automotive industrial and medical uh, and much more like marine and other uh, applications so ros is an uh, language independent architecture so you can write ros in like c++ python java etc so the ros it provides an um, easy trans uh, transition between the simulation and the hardware basically you uh, develop uh, ros application using simulation and then you can convert the same thing uh, the running on the hardware the ros build system uh, we call as like catkin and it is responsible to generate the executables libraries and interfaces for each uh, ros packages so basically um, i'm not going to uh, deep dive into the uh, full ros as this is an yocto project summit so we would like to have some uh, basic concepts of ros packages how those package structures looks like so basically if you consider any um, generic ros packages basically it contains a source code a launch files configuration files message definitions data and documentation so um, a ros package that builds requires all the packages like messages definitions and these can be declared as the dependencies and below is the di um, directory structure of a generic ros package basically it contains a cmakeless file a launch directory which contains the dot launch files for each package and a message directory contains the ros messages defined for your nodes we call this as like topics in the ros uh, terminology and it has the uh, package.xml which describes all the package for each ros packages and it is uh, depending on the dependency packages and the next one is the script the script contains like python script uh, for your each uh, nodes and the next directory is the source where you can have like c++ python java etc those source code in the source directory and the next one is the srv is the ros services defined for your uh, topics or the nodes cool uh, next we're going to talk about the open embedded meta ros layer so what is um, open embedded in short everyone knows on this call is open embedded is a build system for like embedded linux and meta ros is an oe integration layer designed to support ros embedded linux using like a bit big tools meta ros supports both ros 1 and ros 2 platforms and it meta ros also supports like yocto project compliance and ros and distribution releases so the major embedded architecture meta ros supports are like x86 64 bit arm 64 bit respy etc so why meta ros um, for uh, embedded platform because it is optimized for like 
embedded uh, hardware like CPU, power, memory, etc. And it has like capabilities of for advanced user experiences like creating an apps and services and run on a very uh, small uh, embedded platform. And it also provides like a rapid uh, web-based application development where you can control all your ROS from the uh, cloud infrastructure or the web services. So the ROS, Meta ROS contains a collection of layers for the ROS build. So it has like Meta ROS 1, ROS 2, and each ROS uh, platform has its own uh, distros. Uh, which is aligned with the ROS uh, uh, distribution uh, releases. And one layer is called like Meta ROS Common, which provides all the common code for all the ROS uh, distribution. And the next layer is the Meta uh, ROS Python 2. This is layer is supported only for like ROS 1 uses this layer. So since uh, Meta Python 2 is uh, deprecated in Yocto project, this is going to go away in uh, future Meta ROS releases. So also like uh, ROS uh, 2 platform requires at least like Python 3.5, and it also supports um, basic uh, plain uh, Python packages apart from like C make packages. In case of Meta ROS 1, it, it is supported only using like uh, CMake packages. And there are like different uh, uh, ROS uh, distributions. Uh, it is supported from Meta ROS. Like the current LTS one is the Noatic and the Humble release. And uh, we have the Rolling. Rolling is the development platform for ROS 2. So here is the Yocto project uh, ROS and distribution release supported. So you can see the list of uh, ROS combination and the Yocto project distribution is supported and listed in this table. The one which is highlighted in this uh, full is like the fully supported, which is in the bold uh, text. And the one which is in the red, it is like unsupported, but still there are, we have some like, uh, like Mikuldor and Lang Langdale, uh, still it is supported for ROS2 because the ROS2 humble release is supported till May 2027. Hence we are doing like a best effort, like even though if it is like end of life in uh, Yocto project release, since uh, ROS is supported, we are can do, do the best effort from the community. And the next one is the contrib. So, we just uh, enable those uh, contribution uh, configurations, but we are not going to build and test uh, all the features for this ROS distro. And some of the like not is NA is uh, not applicable. These uh, ROSs are like newer version ROS, which is not supported for older um, Yocto project uh, releases. So how this ROS, Meta ROS uh, recipes are uh, generated? Usually uh, for each ROS package, we have something called as uh, distros. That is like uh, each ROS uh, distro releases. And each distro releases, it has something called as like a distribution YAML files. And that YAML files, which will be used for all the ROS repo packages, and it will be injected to the ROS distro cache uh, tool and that distro cache tool uh, will generate all the distro caches. So basically it is a cache.yaml with all the package dependencies and versions, everything. Once you have this distro cache, uh, we have a tool called a Superflow script. So basically Superflow is an extended release manager for ROS in order to generate the open embedded recipes. Um, that super uh, flow uh, tools depends on ROS dev tool where uh, for each uh, platform packages, when I say like platform, it will be like Meta ROS 1 or ROS 2 uh, package dependency mapping files. It has all the build files, uh, Python files, etc. And those files will be injected to the super flows uh, tool script 
and then it will generate uh, OE generated script. And basically the meta layer, uh, uh, you can pass either it can be a like LTS release and non LTS release. So you can take the distribution and it will generate the uh, ROS, uh, meta ROS to dist ROS um, with generated recipes. And you have like bunch of a BB file for each uh, ROS packages. So did I miss anything here? Oops, sorry. Where it went. Cool. Sorry about that. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about the KRX. KRS is nothing but like a Kriya robotic uh, stack. So it is built for like a Kriya robotic uh, starter kits. So basically this is a like a Zinc MP SOM, which has like bunch of uh, uh, FPGA high piece, which can be used for like a ROS platform. And it also supports the vision platform. So both you can use uh, those uh, as an acceleration application in the compute world. So the base layer is the uh, Kriya uh, robotic starter kit and there is um, Kriya K26 SOM, user can buy a SOM um, card and they can build their own starter kit. And we do support uh, connectivity IPs. Uh, these are the connectivity IPs like Ethernet, a 10 gig Ethernet, time sensitive networking, Ethercat, CAN, and if you uh, have any custom um, Ethernet IPs. And the OS and the hypervisor we support for uh, KRS is the Yocto and Ubuntu. So if you go to Ubuntu site and you can download uh, uh, K, um, KR260 uh, Ubuntu image that uh, default ships with uh, all the ROS uh, applications. And also we do support with uh, Yocto uh, building meta ROS with the Umbel 2 results. And the middleware we use like as the Vitus. Vitus is a IDE uh, which uh, used for the application development using ROS, like XRT for the acceleration flow. And you can bring in your own user defined middleware as well. So these are the basic uh, accelerators supported for uh, Meta ROS, uh, so, um, with Meta ROS for KRS, like navigation manipulation, perception, actuation, and any user-defined applications. Cool. So the KRS is a, um, like a superset of a meta uh, ROS2 layer. So, and it is provide, and it is, uh, it provides a very user uh, friendly for ROS applications and uh, using the hardware acceleration. It allows um, ROS2 robotics to create like custom secure computing, uh, compute architectures with a uh, high pro uh, productivity. All right, next we're gonna go to how we can build and configure Meta ROS for like CAR 260. So here are the basic uh, instructions we have a uh, uh, Yocto manifest uh, readme. Uh, you need to follow the readme and once uh, till like sub seven and once you uh, generate all the re, uh, layers, everything. So you need to specify the, set the machine name either in local.conf or from the command line, you can set as like machine is equal to uh, K26 SMK. SMK start for like uh, start some module starter kit and KR start for like Kriya robotics. And there is a KV version. So that is meant for like uh, Kriya vision. And once uh, you set the uh, machine name, everything you need to enable the ROS uh, and the TSN. So those are the two um, package groups we enable for like KR 260. Basically it is a bunch of ROS to Umbel release uh, uh, packages from Meta ROS layer. And the TSN provides the basic uh, time sensitive networking. But in order to test uh, TSN with a uh, uh, ROS, you need like two uh, KR260 uh, with 
SFP connector and uh, acts, one acts as a publisher and one acts as a subscriber and you can talk to each other via connectivity. Since uh, the ROS depends on like a lot of uh, QT packages and it takes like a lot of time to build um, all the ROS packages. So in order to um, do some build optimization here, you need to set um, some less number of cores for like QD base or else your machines can blow up. Cool. So um, once you have all the packages enabled in the local.conf, you can build a Kriya image. And this is the Kriya image uh, target image we provide in the meta Kriya layer that is available in like github.com slash xilinx. Um, you build this images and it um, builds all the binaries, kernel, file system, along with the ROS and the TSN applications. Here are the useful uh, links to the uh, ROS uh, example like meta ROS layer, superflow scripts, how to generate uh, uh, meta ROS uh, recipes for um, using superflow scripts and the ROS uh, distro tool, which is the ROS dev tool, which is part of the ROS uh, distro uh, repo. And we do have the uh, AMD Octo manifest, which is used for the uh, building all the uh, Kriya images. And there is a nice documentation of what like KRS user can go through this uh, documentation. Cool. What next is like, come join us. Thanks to all the contributors uh, who supported for Meta ROS. I know there are like uh, less maintenance uh, for a while. And uh, thanks for like Rob chiming in and uh, helping and driving the ROS community. And here is the ROS um, embedded OE, uh, OE working group link. Uh, you can go through this link and if you are interested, you can join the ROS embedded uh, work group call. Right, let's go to the demo part. Uh, before that, if you have any questions, we can take it up. Okay, so that's like, found a new maintainer. So I would say this like Rob to answer this question. <laughs> Sorry, I don't see the question in the chat. Was there a question about maintenance? Yeah, yeah. so who is the maintainer? Who is the new maintainer? I am the new maintainer. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Take a bow. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Cool. Let's check. So we're going to clone the repo. Sync. Repo. Basically, this uh, demo we are running on uh, using master uh, layers, master brand for all the layers, including MetaRos. By this time, it should have cloned everything. I don't know, some network glitch.
someone asked a question about the whitest layer. Yes, it's a proprietary layer and it provides a um, layer for application development using a whitest tool. And you can build like whitest VBAS and other uh, applications. Oops. Window. Just, just to branch out others. You can see all the layers using mass branch. So, so there are like few still few patches which is missing um, in the our master layer, public master layer, but those are in internal layers. You need to apply those patches. just to enable um, meta logs. Enable this. So, how do you do that? so set up SDK. Set up SDK is a script. Um, basically, it uh, uh, sets the template config uh, for uh, our distribution layer, which is MetaPeta Linux. Once it is done, you can just run with the Cree image full command line. Already I built the uh, ROS last night with the state cache, so it should not take much time uh, to complete the build. You can ignore some of these um, warnings in the master layer. Oops, looks like something got updated in the upstream master. Yesterday it was showing 93% complete. Now it's up. It's fine. Oh. Right, something is broken. Oh. Scroll. Okay, so looks like the DRM version got uh, updated and some of our patches is not uh, applied on the libdrm 2.4.1.1.8. Yeah, it looks like we need to go back and uh, rebase all those uh, patches in order based on like 2.4.18. Oh, okay. 
meanwhile we can have a demo on the real hardware i'm gonna bring the raw stuff which i'm gonna use the image which i built for yesterday last night this image is running on the kr260 board The name is Pedal Linux. User can run with the password. Good. So let's source the then set up script. Once the setup scripts are sourced, you can run ROS2 dash dash help. And basically, it provides all the actions, nodes, et cetera, so, uh, services, topic. And today, we're going to run a small demo on the topics. So in order to list all the topics, you can run like cross to top pick yes. Okay, cool. And uh, these are the list of topics available. And you can see similarly, you can get all the interfaces. Interface. And these are the list of interfaces um, that Meta ROS to Umbel support. Okay, so we're gonna run a small uh, demo on the publisher. So ROS to topic, we're gonna use publisher here, publish, pub. pub. Search. And this is the usage for the publisher. And we can run we'll just copy paste from my other stuff. Oops. So we're gonna use the chat. We can use the chatter as the publisher, and we can just write some hello world messages. And once it is written, just copy and, and echo the lower. Basically, it will wait for the subscription. And once subscription is done, so you can see the it is reading the hello world message. This is a basic simple. Um, publisher and the subscriber demo using MetaRos too. So in the publisher, uh, you can set um, the number of uh, times it has to communicate with the standard messages. So you can see like once uh, you can print up to like 20 messages, send 20 messages and then exit. That is like the option T and you can go through all the different options available in the publishers. Cool. Right. Uh, that's all about the small demo. We're going to take a look what changed in the overnight in the upstream and why the more test and the other patches are not applying using libdrm 
2.4.118, uh, we will get that fixed as soon as possible. Cool, thanks. Uh, if you have any questions, we are happy to answer the questions. Awesome, yeah, great job. That's life on master. <laughs> I mean, <it> yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was pretty neat. And uh, you know, kudos to you for uh, having the guts to do live demos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I will get uh, can show the demo both on KMU and the uh, hardware, but uh, unfortunately, something overnight changed, and yeah. it's not uh, I'm building up. Okay.